Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. Unit Testing Principles, Practices, and Patterns, written by Vladimir Korakov. Unit testing transcends writing tests. It involves mastering frameworks and libraries and understanding the balance between effort and benefit. Efficient projects grow effortlessly and adapt quickly, while inefficient ones suffer from slow development and high maintenance costs. Over the past two decades, unit testing has become a standard practice in software development, especially in enterprise environments. The ratio of test code to production code can vary widely, but it's not uncommon to see ratios as high as 1 to 10. The evolution of unit testing has shifted from whether to write tests to how to write effective tests. Despite widespread adoption, many projects still struggle with ineffective tests that do not fulfill their potential, leading to increased development effort and slower progress. The primary goal of unit testing is to enable sustainable growth of software projects. Tests act as a safety net, helping ensure that existing functionality remains intact despite new features or refactoring. However, tests require an initial investment, but are justified by the benefits they provide in the long run. The relationship between unit testing and code design is also crucial. While unit testing can lead to better design, it's not the main goal, but rather a beneficial side effect. Coverage metrics like code coverage and branch coverage are popular tools used to measure the extent of code tested. However, these metrics have limitations. They can indicate untested code but don't guarantee the quality of the testing. High coverage numbers can be misleading and don't necessarily equate to effective or comprehensive testing. A successful test suite is integrated into the development cycle, targets critical parts of the code base, and provides maximum value with minimal maintenance costs. It's essential to focus unit testing efforts on the domain model or business logic, as this typically offers the best return on investment. Other parts of the system should be tested, but with less intensity, unless they contain complex and critical functionality. This book aims to provide a deep understanding of unit testing, beyond the basics. It teaches how to differentiate between effective and ineffective testing practices, how to maintain a valuable test suite, and how to integrate testing into the software development lifecycle effectively. The book also discusses how to avoid common pitfalls and anti-patterns in unit testing. Whether you are new to unit testing or looking to refine your skills, this book offers valuable insights and practical advice applicable to any software development project. Get this book at manning.com.